hello guys welcome to another interesting video on tagore logic in this today's video we will be understanding how to create tagore logic into flexim by using process flow so today we are going to learn creating tagore using dynamic process flow so stay tuned so this is how the model will be looking like i'll just hit a run and just show you how a tagore looks like this is how it is going to be looking like once we are doing our modeling and this is the unloading stations so the tagger will load from this station so every color is unique in part type so orange color is part type 2 blue is part type 1 and red is part type 3 and we are having their individual unloading stations so this is the tagger which will load the parts from QA and will unload the parts based on its reporting buffers. So we'll now analyze what is the problem statement for this. So this is the problem statement we are going to follow in today's modeling. So our first step is to create a QA where we are going to have a part arrival every two seconds with randomized part type ranging from part type 1 to part type 3 we are going to transfer the material from QA to Q1 that is part type 1 will be transferred to Q1 then part type 2 will be transferred to Q2 and part type 3 will be transferred to Q3 respectively so you might be uh, remembering we have run the video previously before we come to the problem statement you might have seen that tugger running around so that tugger was carrying colorful parts at a time that is blue then orange and then red so all the blue parts are part type 1 orange part are part type 2 and red parts are part type 3 tuggers will have three cards which will be loaded by one type of part at a time that is all three cards will be filled by one part type simultaneously and no mix is allowed so this is what we previously saw in a video so the tugger is taking single color type parts in single run so one look he will transfer blue color parts then orange and then red that is what this third problem statement says then we need to create a card such that its maximum part capacity is one then the card should not take parts more than one at a time and this is where the part type one should be transferred so part type one part to q1 as we have seen respectively we need to transfer the parts to respective queues now we need to see what task we are going to do for this so we are going to create a tagger then we are going to create a logic to load and unload the part to and from from the tagger card then we are going to create the part types loading strategy and unloading strategy to and from the tagger cards such that no part type mix is allowed the tugger should wait till all three parts are filled as per requirement so say for example i am transferring part type one part that is blue color part but i am having only two in the buffer that is qa i do not have additional third part which i need to transfer so the tugger is supposed to wait until we are going to have a blue part coming in qa once we are having that part then the tugger will start and transfer the part to q1 as it is part type one so this is how we need to then continue the loop first part type then part type 2 then part type 3 so these are the tasks we need to do for creating a tagger model in flexim modeling then we'll see what are the learnings we are going to have from this assignment so we are going to learn to create a dynamic process flow to create a tagger and the main highlight for this assignment is without using AJB object process flow we are going to learn how to create the tagger process flow then dynamic process flow we are going to create to create loading and unloading tagger logic also we are going to create a process flow for creating parts in QA so we are not going to use a single step for conventional method we are going to learn how we can run a model fully by applying process flow logic from the process flow objects what things are we going to learn so we are going to learn custom code entity we are going to lo learn load and unload entity run subflow create object move object t 
these are the entities which we are going to learn in this course or assignment so we'll visit back to our flexim screen so as we discussed we are going to transfer part type 1 part type 2 and part type 3 parts to our respective buffers present here but by using Tugger. So this Tugger has three cards as you are seeing and it is transferring all colors at a time. Then now this Tugger will transfer red color parts from the buffer. So if you look at it, so yes, see it is carrying red color parts to the respective buffer and it is going to unload there accordingly. So this is the problem statement here. So this is how the process flow will look like. These are the things we are going to learn in this assignment. So I am just giving you the glimpse of the process flow we have created for the respective operations. Our website beaverchannel.com. Please do give a visit onto this website to learn about different modules we are going to bring on Flexim. So you need to go into the services, then you need to go into the training modules. So once you are at the training module page, here are the modules listed below. So you need to come to the AGB Tugger without part type mix module 2. We have already mentioned the details of pricing for this module. So you can check out that there are two pricings. One, we are going to have an offer for you before 13 March 2023 if you are going to purchase for video you are going to charge 699 and for model file we are going to charge 1099 rupees so i would highly recommend you to go and have a purchase for this module before 13 march 2023 we have already listed what are the learnings you are going to have in this assignment what the tasks we are going to do in this assignment if you find this learning useful so do recommend it do share and subscribe to our channel the video which we will be bringing that is the understanding video for the assignment that is process flow understanding that we are going to create only on demand and for that to getting created please do comment in the video section so that we will understand that you require a video for this and we will create a video for it and we will share a link for you so once you have done payment for this module on the upi id mentioned here be our channel at the red axl you can come to this section link to access module 2 when you are going to click on this for model access then you will be able to send a request for approval if you have done a payment we will approve your request and you are ready to access the model file for video once you are going to put a on demand request in video section there we will have one more additional button for video access after payment is done we will give you an access to that video so this is all about do give a visit to our website do get a use of this offer before 13 march 2023 we are going to bring interesting and learning modules upcomingly so till then stay safe stay simulating thank you